In a previous video, which I will link in the pop-out cards up here, I showed how to use Cisco Modeling Lab's breakout tool. Well, somebody out there tried to use putty and they didn't know how. It's really simple. I'll show you quickly how to do that. When you see your nodes up here, like for instance, iOS V-1, and you click the little command line thingy right there, you can then, of course, access these nodes in the command line utility that's built into Cisco Modeling Labs. Well, the breakout tool, which I already showed how to use, provides a, a way to open up ports so that you can use other applications like Windows, Telnet, or Putty. So I already showed how to use this. You float over the serial port. Here it says TCP 9000. If we wanted to use Windows command line Telnet, we would say Telnet localhost 9000, and there we go. We're on the iOS V router. You can see that the the commands that I type here are actually showing up down here. So it's a multiple appearance, actually, of the terminal of this same device. All right, let's close this one. And I will simply show that PuTTY is quite easy to use. You just simply put localhost here, instead of an IP address, change the port to 9000, and then select Telnet right there. Now whenever I click open, it will then open a PuTTY window for that same router. See that? Pretty nice. And so that's how to use PuTTY uh, using the CML breakout tool.